Hello everyone, this is JW Vincent and welcome back to our Let's Play of Final Fantasy 2. We're on our way back to Mycidia where we're going to heal up real quick. Then we're going to go see what Mindu's been up to this whole time without a crystal rod. Although apparently, from what I gather, there are actually many, many crystal rods. Not just the ones that we just went and retrieved. So maybe, you know, just maybe, um, it was a big waste of time. We could cast Asuna one more time on a character who is not poisoned. We could level that spell up. Oh well. Everybody goes to sleep. We get a nice, nice little nap in. We're gonna go buy some elixirs because we need them. Hello, item shop. Give me, give me a couple of those. Cannot carry any more items as your inventory is full. Is there anything else you'd like to sell? This. And this. What's this do? This. This. One of these, maybe? Not too worried about Toad. I'll hold on to those Phoenix Downs. I could sell these Ethers. Because obviously we have elixirs, and those ethers don't give us a lot of uh, stuff back anyway. The bell with silence effect, don't need that. A horn with basuna, don't need that, definitely. And garlic, I don't think so. Diamond shield, sounds unnecessary. Mini scroll, we can definitely sell. This mage's staff, I don't figure we'll need that. Definitely don't need this staff. Um, we already have a flame bow, I think? Maybe that's not equipped. Who knows? Another staff. Let's get rid of that. We'll hold on to that white robe, though. There. That, uh, that, that, that should do us, I think. We have five elixirs, maybe? Maybe a little more than that. Who knows? It doesn't matter. It does not matter at all. We are traveling forward. Onward and upward, as they say. We've got uh, places to be, people to see crystal rods to utilize. I think we already used our crystal rod actually to get into the tower. Mm. Mm, yeah, yeah, my sources say that it's correct. Gareth? Gareth, Gareth, Gareth. You're not, you're definitely no Layla, that's for sure. Just cast holy... Hope hope to put out a good deal of damage with uh, Gareth's Wing Blade, maybe. Probably not. Probably not going to do any damage, actually, much like that. Well, Gareth. Gareth is more adept at fighting Dark Flan than uh, Firion is, so that's a thing. That's a thing. Let's cast Fire again, why not? I can't, I cannot fathom a scenario where this goes well. This sucks, guys. Grinding, grinding is the worst in this game, but I'm not even grinding, I'm just, yeah. Good work, Maria, good show. Yeah, no, grinding, grinding isn't the problem. The problem is walking. Where's my, uh, where's my airship? Where is mine airship? Essena, yes, level two Essena. Don't need to cure anyone, I should hope. I hope not, not so soon. We just gotta make it around this corner without fighting any more creatures or a behemoth. Throw a behemoth at me, fine. But just please, no more flan. No more flan, no more jelly, no more moose. Werewolves, werewolves, I can deal with, bruh. I can deal with werewolves all day. Just no more, no more jellies. Those things are the worst. I don't remember having so much trouble with them in Final Fantasy X. Then again, in Final Fantasy X, I bet they're balanced in such a way that you can kill them with physical attacks. Like, these things pop up and it takes like a thousand turns to kill them with physical attacks. I think in Final Fantasy X it was like, hey, you gotta spend an extra turn to kill them, but they still die relatively fast. And maybe not. Maybe I'm maybe I'm making that up. Maybe 
Maybe the jellies and flans in uh, Final Fantasy X were terrible. I know they're not that terrible in twelve because I fight them all the time. Killer Mantis or Vampirette? Which do we focus down first? Mm. Meh. Meh. The Killer Mantis, obviously. Oh, the Vampirette. Oh, the Vampirette. Why not Draculina? Lady Vampire. Lady Dracula. Mrs. Vampire. Vampirette? Really? Is that, is that a common thing? To, to, is that frequently what you call female vampires? Do you frequently call them Draculinas? Do I have to use this again? Oh, I see. I need to save. It is too hot in this house and I need to save. A combination of terrible things. There we go. That is saved, yes. You have to you have to use the crystal rod every single time. Which is why Mindu could get in with a crystal rod and then I'd have to go find another crystal rod and go in. Stupid. All right, where are we going? Where are we going, bruh? I think I got everything on the first floor. We can head up. We can just head straight up. If we could kill those imps, that'd be great. That'd be fantastic. That'd be flantastic, even. We all know how I feel about flans. Please just kill everything. That is supposed to be such a powerful spell, and it always blows my mind how bad it sucks. Oh, there it goes. And that's game. Only the mage. And the mage is the one that will die in one hit. Well, <clears throat> Gareth probably will too. Oh my god, are you kidding? What's the point of this spell? It does no damage. It creates a nuclear explosion, but a very, very tiny nuclear explosion. Like a nuclear explosion that is the size of a nucleus. That's how big the explosion is. That's what they mean when they say nuclear explosion. They don't mean like... They don't mean like Hiroshima. They mean like... The size of a nucleus. Cellular sized explosion. That's what they're talking about, obviously. Obviously, because uh, we're definitely not doing new Hiroshima levels of damage here. Maybe that's the point. Maybe maybe Flair is the Japanese having their joke on the Americans. Ha, nuclear bombs aren't that bad, Americans. Ha 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 ha. That doesn't make sense. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, that was stupid. Well, Gareth's dead. Do I miss him? No, not at all. In fact, I might just leave him dead. I probably shouldn't do that. I probably shouldn't just leave him dead. There you go, Gareth. You're fully healed. Despite my better judgment. Are you kidding me? It's a trick. It was a trick. I didn't... I would not have gone in there if I had known it was just a standard door. Now I have to fight a basilisk, which I assume is about to turn fury into stone. Oh, it missed. Look at that. This is not going to be good at all. Guess his shield skill improved. I don't know how he didn't get hit with anything, but... I thought I was outside the door already. Evil Bud, which is worse than uh, Bloodsucker, I guess. I think that's the name of the other plant. How are you muddled? Did that thing for real muddle and poison you? That sucks. 
These things are terrifying, and I don't know what kind of magic to use on them. Bolt's probably not the way to go, right? Because it's a plant, but... Well, let's try fire. Maybe it'll just die beforehand. Yeah, there we go. Therian will kill it. <clears throat> nope. Fire is definitely the way to go. Now I know next time. Therian's strength increased, Maria's HP increased. Well, that's good. I need you to cure Maria there. She's uh she's not looking too hot. Every step. Every single step. You're okay, Pokemon. You're okay. Mm. This is awful. This is gold awful. Well, there goes Gareth. I have to hope that Flare is enough to kill one of these things. I have to hope that it doesn't turn Maria to stone. I have to hope it doesn't turn Gus to stone as well, because that would suck. We do have one gold needle, though. I sold gold needles. I thought, ah, I'm not going to run into stone that much. Basilisk. Basilisks are a standard enemy in this dungeon. You just show up in groups of four, probably. Can you imagine if it showed up in a group of four? They would have the potential to stone my entire party in one turn. I bet that happens. I've seen cockatrices in groups of eight. Oh, Isuna doesn't cure that, eh? Well, that's even worse. Oh, well, now I'm definitely leaving him dead. I need those other gold needles. Bye, Gareth. Good luck with your life, bruh. This is going to be one of those times where I get halfway through and I'm like, eh, I really needed to grind. I'm going to stop here and just grind for a week. Stop playing this stupid game for a week. Go play something else. Go play Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Or something. I don't know. Something. There gotta be something better than this to play. You know, go play Gran Turismo again and not be able to save again, but that'll be okay because at least I'll be... Really? That's what we're going with, eh? I should have used Holy, maybe. Won't matter. This is This is when my party dies. I can feel it. Come on! Ugh. Gus's magic defense increased at least. How about you cast life on our buddy Furion there? And maybe a bit of that cure as well. May as well cast it on yourself too, Gus, while you're at it. There we go. I guess we're going this way. I see no reason not to see what's in this chest, really. Except, you know, that we're losing. But other than that, how deep is this dungeon? Final Fantasy 2, my city, uh, tower. I don't really want a map so much as I want just like, okay, I guess I'm getting a map. Eleven. 
Eleven floors. Let's see, eleven floors. Okay, I'm glad I didn't go the other way, which would have only rewarded me with a flame bow and a flame lance, which I already have. I technically don't need to go up here, because it's only going to reward me with a flame shield, but here we go anyway. We're already halfway there. And I bet it's guarded by a monster. I don't know how imps feel about fire magic, but these things are about to get blown out of the water with it. Hit yourself. Yeah, knock yourself out, bro. Oh, come on. He's gonna hit Maria. You don't, you don't say. One imp could destroy an entire party, given that RNG goes its way. Heck, RNG doesn't even have to go its way. All it has to do is get blink off, and apparently you can't kill it. I, I, thought, I thought I was mad when my entire party got paralyzed on the way out of the Earth Cavern, but these things are infuriating. <laughs> oh, absolutely infuriating. It's okay, at least they didn't blink the werewolf. I feel like it's a thing they should be able to do, but they didn't, so whatever. Was it worth it? Was it worth the flame shield, Vincent? Was it really... feel good about yourself here? I know I don't. Alright, flame shield was not guarded for once. I don't, I don't think the last flame shield was either, that's not what I meant. I meant, for once, I didn't get completely screwed by the game's ridiculous mechanics. Oh, but here comes the Basilisk! You know what that means! They're gonna cast Gaze and ruin my day! And they're not casting Gaze yet? How fortunate! That's a dead Basilisk. Now, light that one up. Physical attacks are so strong, why convince me that I needed Maria? A comes up there. And then... And then from there, I just need to... Oh, sorry. Sorry. A comes out there. And I need to move over to H. Flame Helm, Flame Armor, Flame Sword, all in the same room. You know what? Provided that I don't get encounters while walking in lava, that may be the way to go. Yeah, let's go get those items. Yeah, let's do that. Here. Theory, and you look like you could use a, uh... Yep, uh-huh, uh-huh, gotta come over here. There's no turning back now. Fortunately, there was no reason to turn back. Flame sword, okay. We're not looking too shabby. I'm gonna have to walk on the stairs up here. This is gonna suck. Why couldn't I move through the lava? Why couldn't I just swim up the lava waterfall? Maybe I could. I didn't try. I should have gone up the lava waterfall. Okay, this'll... 
This will go well. We need to kill that hill gigas immediately. Because it will ruin our deck. Worthless. Blood sword. Steals foe's health. Cannot land. Attacks with it. Yeah, I didn't think that hill gigas was going to be as big of a threat as I thought it was. 80 hit points. Excellent. One at either end. How killer. <laughs> Literally, one at either end. It's the same fight. Exact same fight. Makes perfect sense. This is where this is where one of them somehow hits Maria and murders her in one hit. That's how these kinds of things go. Here and getting them heals off of that blood sword though. You know what I'm saying? Or is it the blood blade? I don't know if uh, I don't know if this reduces the amount of damage we take overall, but I'm gonna try it anyway. I don't want that blood sword there. I want the crescent there. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to fight this again, aren't I? This is guarding that door, clearly. Yeah. On the bright side, we might put it to sleep this time. Oh! I didn't actually give him the crescent. He has the flame shield equipped. Oh well. It'll die this turn. I think Gus will kill it. Yeah? Now, Virion will kill the bomb. Yay. Yay. I anxiously await the day that I can move on to a superior Final Fantasy game. This was unexpected. I'm going to save a memo file here. And I'm going to cast Cure on Furion. And because there's no telling what this thing is about to whip out, I'm guessing he's going to use fire magic. I'm going to trick Furion out. Oh. Evil Bud. This one's easy. It's one fire spell and it's done. One and done, brah! Now the question is, that Mycidian that's up there, what do I do about him? <clears throat> mage, you have done well, but you must defeat me to proceed. The mage began to grow. Or did it say glow? Oh, so the flame shield was not what I needed there. Okay. Oh, it is a fire gigas. So, but I think that has more to do with the uh, typing he's weak to rather than uh, let's cast blink. Why? Why is it wasting a blink cast on Gareth? Oh, it, it is, it is. Okay. All that fire armor I put on him is going to come in handy, apparently. Yeah. So I need to cast Shell, like, immediately. <laughs> Before this gets really bad, really fast. It just got really bad really fast. Okay, it actually stayed asleep that time. That's good. Hoping to, uh... Yeah, that's the only one that needed it, really. I should have just cast it on her, but I didn't. Well, 
There goes that. <clears throat> okay, we'll heal her. He is up to cure level 9. Can't give any of my actual offensive spells up to that level, but cure... Cure. You know. I mean, it makes sense. Cure is the one you're really going to use the most. What was that mage doing? Has he just been standing in here for like hundreds of years? Do mages reproduce asexually? Alright. I guess I need to pick up the ice shield, the ice armor, and the ice gloves in here. And the ice lance. And I can go get the ice brand as well. Okay, let's do it. I wonder, wonder who I'm going to put that on. I'm going to change that out with my crescent sword because we're going to need it. Come over here. Yeah, I'm cheating. I'm cheating big. Get over it. This is a really deep dungeon. Like, it goes on and on and on. Sorry. I was too busy trying to figure out what the heck I'm going to do on these next floors. There is an elixir and a wizard staff. So we're going to have to fight an Ice Gigas and... Oh, I think the last one is Mindu. Okay, that's good. I don't, I don't know how I feel about those Ice Spikes. Probably better than I feel about random encounters at this point. <coughs> Actually, this looks like a fixed encounter, if we're being honest. I really want her to level up her flare spell just a little bit. Actually, though, I might benefit from leveling, from casting fire a bit more. Because next enemy is an Ice Gigas. Is Mindu, is Mindu waiting around for us? Like, the final challenge is you have to defeat Mindu to gain the Ultima Scroll. That would be kind of stupid, wouldn't it? Be just a little stupid. This means that he defeated all these fools. <laughs> Mantises and vampirettes. You know how we do. The floors themselves don't seem to be... Like, the monsters aren't themed for the floor. We're not encountering ice monsters or anything like that. When I first fought those bombs on the lava floor, I thought, oh, we're going to get themed fights. But no. Obviously not. Alright. Alright. We need to cure Furion. And yourself. He's not got a lot of magic points left. All this for a lance. Oh. All of this for a lance. Malboros and uh, the plant things that I've been fighting are of a different species, obviously, because these are Doom Petals. They're the lower form of Evil Bud, not Malboro. I don't know what Malboros are, but they're not. Let's do this right. There we go. We should be able to deal with these Chimeras, maybe? Maybe her next cast of fire will do it. Oh, I thought maybe we could deal with the Doom Petals as well. We literally did nothing there. Let's, do, let's go again.
That was a real boss fight. It wasn't extremely threatening, but it was a real boss fight. A bit upset about it. Ice Lance. Random battle. I could benefit from having a fire sword on the field right now. I'm thinking about using a gold needle on uh, Gareth and giving him the flame sword. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and revive Gareth, give him the uh, flame sword. Mm, maybe give him better gear? I don't know. Gold needle. Alright. Equip Gareth with... I could give him the Flame Lance, it's not like he's got... Flame Sword's better on him, though. Oh. Oh. Is that a misprint? Mail with the Essence of Fire. Ice Resistant Helm with Fire Essence. Okay, so what I'm gathering is that uh, they're not actually giving me the gear for the fights I'm about to get into. They're just giving me gear. What is this nonsense? Okay, good work. Good show. These revenants shouldn't last long either. Especially given that they should be fire weak. Oh. <clears throat> that did not do as much damage as I was afraid it would do. In fact, it looked like Gareth resisted it. Gareth should have the lowest magic defense of my party. And yet, he took the least amount of damage from that blaze, almost as if the fire equipment reduces fire damage, not ice damage. But who knows? Maybe it's a misprint, maybe it's not. Who knows? And you know what? I can guarantee you, I guarantee you, we won't find out next time we play Final Fantasy II. I'm done with this episode, guys. I'll pick up right here next time, though. Bye-bye! Thanks so much for watching my video guys, if you enjoyed it be sure to leave a like and comment down below, if you didn't leave a comment anyway, let me know what I can improve on, and be certain to click my icon in the upper right to subscribe for more upcoming content. I upload multiple Let's Play videos daily, in fact, there's another one right there in the bottom left corner. For more on this series, be sure to check out the playlist in the bottom right corner. Have a great day!